Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will show you step by step how you can easily use Monday.com uh, for your HR, human resources, employee onboarding and also how you can use it for like employee recruitment process. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just simply click add here and then choose from templates. Then you want to click on HR and here you've got multiple options that you can use. So you can choose it for HR services then recruitment process, uh, recruitment and onboarding. Now guys, I already created a video for recruitment process and recruitment onboarding. So if you want, you can just like write it on YouTube just for the recruitment and you would find it. I'm going to focus here on our HR services and how we can work with it, all right? And also HR requests. So these two I'm going to cover in this video, but I already created in these two. Uh, I will try to link it down below in the description, but if I forget, just write it down below in the comments and I will link it, okay? Because I got a lot of stuff to do. So let's go with HR services, use template. And let's wait here and let's see how it's going to look like. Now I will open it again. Workspaces and we already have it here. HR services. So first thing first is right here, employee onboarding. And in HR services, you're going to have the employee one the pre-arrival and you're going to have like the status here if it's going to be first day, first week, first month and onboard it and for every single like time something is going to happen, right? So first HR responsible, email, phone, position, then you're going to find also the department here, where are they working, reporting manager, date of joining and when we go even further you see also the physical workspace if it's done working on its stack, software workspace, send welcome email, and you can have like everything fill this up. So you can also like combine it with and then go even further to have combined every single one of these labels uh, if it's actually finished, right? So onboarding meeting with HR, scheduled training session, company tour, responsibly to the onboarding, performance first week and performance first month and you have it right here um, and see how it looks like. So this is the employee onboarding in HR services. Now when you go even further you can have a form uh, that you would send them and uh, like they can fill it out. Always guys if you want to edit a form like you can add a multiple columns here. So I can simply click here and click plus on the bottom on the right side Click on more columns and you can add multiple columns in your employee onboarding. Now, if I'm going to add, look at this, let's say in a form. Form is directly connected to your columns in main table. If I'm going to uh, create and click in a form a new uh, question, it will be directly seen in uh, the main table. Really important to remember. Then when you're going to click also the Kanban here, uh, you're going to find the first day here, the first week, first month onboarded. So I can come here and first week first and just move them, right? Like it's a really great way to have also a date here. So when they are actually coming and when how long they are actually here. So date of joining, this is really important. And you would find like, okay, they're already a month here, right? So that's something how it works and how effective it can be. Now when I go to Kanban, I can have pre-arrival, uh, then I can have new employee onboarding. Uh, the Kanban is really effective how we can work with it. And you're always going to find the HR responsible. So you're going to find also the number of employee here. Then you're going to find the next thing I want to show you on the left bottom side is our open positions. In open positions, uh, you can simply add an item. 
hiring manager, hiring manager, department, urgency, status. So you can gonna find also the form here. So new position requests, uh, then also the hiring manager, hiring manager email. Again, if I'm going to add a new question here, a new column, you would find it directly in the forum. And this is something you can do. So if there is going to be an open position, you can have like this. Then vacation requests. Again, this is really also similar. You would have a form, submit the vacation request, name, email, uh, department, vacation start date, vacation end date. So that's pretty much how we can work with it too. And what you can do with it. Now uh, here you can have the new group rejected. So if I'm going to like delete this group and you have always a form here that people would have access in monday.com. So let's say the employees would come here and they're going to submit it and you would get it here and you will like I'll let them know when they add an email that they are rejected. Then HR general requests. Uh, here you're gonna have the open requests change my personal detail okay and then when it would come here on a form you're always gonna find uh like what is actually going to ask for you and then uh, they can like easily send it to you right and this is really effective because you're not going to spend time Oh, with a lot of data because you got everything clean in monday.com. So someone is going to uh, fill a form that they again need to change the address, subject, description, then they choose a type, update personal information, priority medium, high, name, email, phone number, department. Now if I go to the main table, you can always add a label for a type. You can always add more questions, uh, more like the type, let's say there will be a workspace, right? Change a workspace. Then you're going to find all requests here, open requests. They are not done. Close requests. Then can view what needs to be done. And this is for you if you want to. Team workload status breakdown. Now when you go even further, you're going to have the employee portal and you can submit a request for the HR team. And then you're going to find also the knowledge base here. So that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, this is something. Uh, you can like add a link to the form here. And people can uh, like always find everything here that you would share them with. And people can find if you're going to have the question or new position, they would click here, fill the form and you would find in here and here. So this is pretty much it how we can use the uh, human res like monday.com for human resources. This was a quick effective video on how we can do it. If you want me to guys, I can go even in deeper and talk slowly. I can do that. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.